Let's get a look at the weather and that. Uh, well, let me just tell you actually that what's happening at 20 past four, we're going to have a very special weather forecast for you. It involves uh, a Blue Peter presenter. I can say no more than that. Uh, but uh, Nick Miller will be along later as well. But uh, uh, a little later, we've got a rather big surprise. Well, it'll be a big surprise to the BBC uh, uh, Blue Peter presenter because they're going to have to do the weather forecast and they're not entirely happy about it. I was speaking to him a short time ago. Anyway, that's to come. Now let's have a look at the weather for now. Here's Nick Miller. Now, you're watching Afternoon Live. It is now time for a very special weather forecast. Your forecaster for today is Radzi. Thank you very much, Simon, doing it for the Blue Peter badge. And I have also come to you with good news. News that spring has officially sprung. Well, it has, according to Sue from Oxfordshire, who sent us in a fantastic picture. She is a weather watcher. And if we have a snowdrop here, meaning that spring is just around the corner. It's been quite a seasonal day today. It's been bright. It's also been dry. However, as we move through the evening, we can see here a band of rain coming from the west, which will firstly affect the northwest of Scotland with rain and with drizzle, and then will dissipate through the rest of Scotland but it will also bring with it quite mild temperatures especially for this time of year temperatures of 8 and 9 we can see that in Wales here and as we move right the way across England especially to the very very east in Norwich so do take care if you are on the roads well that weather front stays west fortunately for us and as it moves along it moves a breeze right the way along to us it also brings with us double digit highs I'm talking about unseasonable highs which is fantastic for those of us who like it a little bit warmer we can see here 13 degrees, 12 degrees as we move up to Scotland, 12 degrees as well there. Now the average maximum temperature you'd expect this time of the year in England will be 9 degrees and just 6 degrees in Scotland. My Dundonian mother will be very pleased about that and as will Carol Kirkwood because in Murray Firth that you can expect highs of 14 degrees. Thank you very much Simon. Right. Well, thank you. I, Nick Miller's just walked out of the studio, he's out of the job. <laughs> uh, you better explain because now you, you, you and well, uh, also, Lindsay from Blue Peter, you've both been yes. here today and you had a little competition between the two of you as to who could do this. Who was broadcast. the best meteorologist? And it, it turned out they couldn't find one, so they wrote me in. And so it's been a lot of fun. We've had Carol Kirk, we've had Tom, Tom Ash as well, and they've massively helped us. And one thing I will say is I've got nothing but respect for anyone that stands here and does this because I'm sweating. I've got sweaty palms here. <laughs> now, look, a lot, of, a lot of viewers watching Afternoon Live not necessarily watching Blue Peter. Can you imagine? Can you imagine I, I, I that? I find it odd. But uh, so tell me just the process here. What, what was the idea behind this? Well, what we like to do on Blue Peter is sort of teach people through soft learning. So rather than being dictatorial, it's something that's entertaining. So perhaps if you don't like geography or perhaps various sciences, this is applied science. So if you're very good at science, this could be a future job for you. And perhaps you could earn something. Now, Sam, if you wouldn't mind, can I come and get a bit closer to you? You, you come over here, Radzi. Thank you very much. Because... But this, do you know, this, this is a moment. Uh, this is... Now, for my, the way that my you... My mum, if she's watching, is going to be so proud. Well, your mum should be very proud because for your fantastic service to BBC <laughs> News, you have your very own oh, Blue look, P to Just badge. look at that. Oh, my word. You need to go and stand back there. Okay, while I I just, I'm just going to look at this. I'll with... shake your hand. Radzi, Thank you. Do you know... That's marvellous. I'm, all I'm hearing in my ear is what on earth has he done to earn a Blue Peter badge? But actually, <laughs> you, you see what's been going on. Now, let's bring Nick Miller on because, um, uh, you, as, as you said, Thomas Schaffernacker and Carol Kirkham were teaching both of you earlier today. Yes. I, mean, I don't want to get his head too big, but it's not easy because all you've got is a picture of yourself in front of you. It, it really is a challenge and actually articulating, I don't really understand what I'm saying, whereas you guys are meteorologists, so you actually know what you're saying and then you're condensing it and making it more uh, digestible and it's, I'm in awe. Oh, you did a fantastic job and I'm really worried when I see someone making such a good job of it, when I make <laughs> such hard work of it all the time. You've been wanting to get rid of me for a long time, Simon. No one's so. arguing with you, <laughs> No, I can <laughs> see that. Thank you. Can I just say, no auto cue. I was expecting Expecting auto cue, yeah, isn't the case? Absolutely right. Not everybody realises that that we're basically looking at a camera across, but we've got our, our weather graphics and we can see ourselves right across there, and we don't have any words. So we remember that. And I was entertained by watching you behind the scenes before you came on, doing what every weather presenter does. They kind of stand there and they stood talking to themselves and waving their arms around a little bit because they're practicing that way, because that's the way the words are going to stick. But then when you gesticulate and then you add geography to it and you, this, not all cities are there, you don't want to be that guy that calls the wrong city in the wrong country or call, you know, and all that that goes on. So, yeah, it's just been a pleasure. So thank you for You've having us. Well, well, I'm going to stop this loving. It's, <laughs> it's good to see a professional on here, Radzi. Thank you very much. <laughs> the checks to the post. <laughs> and Nick, that, that's fantastic. Thank you both very much. Thank you. <laughs>
We will have uh, the headlines. We'll also have our regular look at what's happening in the regions in our look at Nationwide. Uh, that's with Carol Malia and Annabel Tiffin. That's coming up in just a moment.